Okay, so we're going to take a look at this Gigabyte motherboard. This is the GAD525TUD, as shown here. It's an Ultra Durable 3, uh, featuring the Atom processor, dual BIOS, DDR3, Windows 7 support, and a three year warranty. So we will take a look at this little mini ITX guy, pretty plain Jane box. Nothing really going on, just uh, in the front end, two stickers. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, inside we have the manual and a driver disc and utilities as well. There we go. We've got a manual correction sheet. motherboard. Oh. Okay, so we have a fancy color-coded rear I.O. shield. I always like to see those. We've got the old antiquated IDE and we've got a SATA connection. Now let's pop the board out and take a look. Okay, so there it is. We've got the 2DDR3 right here. So that will support up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. We've got a 24 pin. We've got two SATA connections and one IDE. However, I would rather have not seen the IDE, but what do you do? We've got a PCI connector here, which I would also like to see the PCI Express by 1 or even by 16 would have been nice, but you know, what do you do? This is a budget ITX board. Okay, we've got the rear I.O. there, some PS2 ports, a serial, which is odd, but, you know, in parallel, but, you know, so we'll take that. Um, four USB 2.0s, we got gigabit Ethernet, and then the audio, and down here hiding we have a VGA port. Okay, so it gives us a good look around. There's our four pin for the uh, CPU power and there's a COM port header right there. Let's see what else we've got kind of poking around the board. We've got the front panel audio. We've got the front panel USB for two of those there so you get some four front panel USB 2.0's. There's a system fan down there as well as the front panel LEDs and power switch connectors. And the CPU fan is already taken up by a built-in heatsink that came installed on this motherboard and a little bitty tiny fan so hopefully that's not too loud and it's a three pin so it's not PWM controllable excuse me so hopefully this little fan isn't too loud because more than likely it's going to be the only fan in a mini ITX build so that'll give you a good look at this like I said before a couple times, it is a budget mini ITX board, so you can't expect the world. It's got some legacy ports, so that may be good, uh, depending on who you are and what you're looking for. Me, I don't really care for them, but some people, maybe you do. So there it is, and that wraps up the video, and as always, thank you for watching.